Hey there guys, this is Richard, your host, with another marvellous video. If you're a comic enthusiast with a taste for the web slinger's adventures, you're surely aware of Silver Sable's character who has been both his friend and foe in the Marvel Universe. Created by Tom DeFalco and Ron Friends, Sylvia Sablanova made her debut in the 265th issue of The Amazing Spider-Man in 1985. Initially introduced as one of Spider-Man's enemies, soon Silver Sable had carved out a unique place as one of Spider-Man's most trusted allies, and their camaraderie had only deepened despite her unconventional career path. At some point, there was even some sort of heated romantic tension between the two. Silver Sable is prominently recognized for her role as a skilled mercenary and war criminal tracker, often leading a group known as the Wild Pack. Tracing her origin back to the fictional Balkan nation of Simcaria, Silver Sable's complex journey through the Marvel landscape has seen its highs and lows. She's had her moments in the spotlight with her own series and has frequently played pivotal roles in Spider-Man's escapades. Often, her adventures drag the wall crawler into ethically complex situations, a testament to her morally intricate character. While her methods might raise questions, her intentions are consistently rooted in righteousness. Whenever Spider-Man has needed a helping hand, Silver Sable has been a steadfast ally, emphasizing the depth of their connection. In this marvelous video, we'll delve into the profound origin of this lethal mercenary to get a better understanding of her multifaceted persona. So, without wasting another moment, let's get right to it. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Who is Silver Sable? During the aftermath of World War II, a young girl named Sylvia Sablanova was born to her Simkarian parents, Ernst and Anastasia. Silva's father, Ernst Sablanov, was appointed by the king to lead an elite squad known as the Wild Pack. This formidable team was dedicated to tracking down and putting an end to escaped Nazi war criminals. Silva's father had a remarkable history as a Nazi hunter and was acclaimed as the finest in Europe. He even collaborated with James Howlett, who was simply known as the Canadian at that time. Despite her father's intense and violent profession, Silva always held him in high regard, idolizing him. Her mother, Anastasia, however, hoped for a different path for her daughter, one that wouldn't involve such danger. But fate, of course, had other plans. A pivotal moment came when young Silva overheard Nazi spies planning an attack on the Wild Pack. Driven by determination, she rushed to warn her father, unknowingly guiding the assassin straight to him. Tragically, in the ensuing turmoil, Anastasia Sablanova found herself caught in the crossfire and lost her life while protecting her daughter. This heart-wrenching incident forever marked Silva when she was just seven years old. Soon after, her hair gradually started turning platinum white, as if to match her name. In the following years, Silva's commitment led her to train under her father's guidance. Her teenage years were spent refining her skills, transforming her into a remarkable swordsman, martial artist, and gymnast. Notably, she designed a distinctive three-pronged throwing weapon she aptly named as Chai. As life continued, Silva's father shared leadership of the Wild Pack with his twin brother Fritz, allowing him to execute tactics requiring his presence in multiple places. Silva honed her skills under Fritz's mentorship, imbibing tactical and technical prowess. When Silva reached the age of 17, her prowess was undeniable, and she embarked on her Nazi hunting expeditions alongside her father. During a mission, she found herself in a standoff, with a notorious fugitive held by one of his men and her father at gunpoint. Against her father's command to execute the criminal, Silva took a different path, saving her father by neutralizing the threat. In the same moment, the fugitive stabbed her, and in order to avoid her father's discontentment over her not following orders, Silva took out the sword from her stomach and stabbed the guy on his back while he was trying to escape. This marked the beginning of her journey as a remarkable operative. As time went on, Ernst was gifted a castle by the Simkarian monarchy, and Silva became his second in command. However, their dynamic began to shift. Ernst, aging and obstinate, refused to step aside for his capable daughter. Their next target was Ivan Trefkov, the very man who had murdered Silva's mother. Despite entreaties from Anastasia's brother, Ernst's desire for vengeance drove him toward a tragic confrontation, which left him fatally wounded by Trefkov. The aftermath of her father's death transformed Silva. Driven by her country's economic needs, she revitalized the Wild Pack, rebranding it as a mercenary organization named Silver Sable International. While she retained her morals and fought only for worthy causes, she became a pragmatic force, seeking to empower Simkaria's economy through high-paying missions worldwide. In her journey, she encountered the enigmatic assassin known as the Foreigner. Initially tasked with her assassination, their dynamic shifted, and eventually the Foreigner let her go. For the first time in years, Silver allowed herself to be vulnerable, and their love blossomed. Eventually, they got married, but the Foreigner's hidden dealings led to a tragic revelation about his nefarious secret missions. In an event, Silva was hired to protect the president while her husband was hired as an assassin to kill him. Naturally, he attacked, 
They had an altercation and Silva was left unfounded when she realized it was her husband. Months later, the foreigner sent her divorce papers in the mail, alongside urging her to play a perverse game on who manages to kill whom first. Amidst this turmoil, Silva's mercenary enterprise flourished, solidifying her status as a renowned figure and a diplomatic player on the global stage. Silver Sable's Adventures with Spider-Man Explored Silver Sable's path intersected with Spider-Man when she was hired to capture the international jewel thief Black Fox. This encounter with the wall crawler marked the beginning of an ongoing relationship, one that would see Silver's life intertwined with heroes and villains alike. So, collaborating with the NYPD, the Wild Pack was on the verge of capturing the thief, only to encounter the unpredictable interference of Spider-Man. Ultimately, the web-slinger managed to retrieve the stolen jewels, allowing the fox to escape. Since then, Silver Sable and Spider-Man have joined forces on several occasions. Their combined efforts have extended to include partnerships with other notable individuals such as Paladin, Puma, Solo, Hawkeye, and the Sandman. In a subsequent chapter of her journey, Silver Sable International was commissioned by a small Southern African nation to counter the threat posed by the international terrorist Jason Mackendale, who operated under the guise of Jack O'Lantern. He was suspected of aiding rebel forces within the country. Amidst the pursuit, Sable's sense of justice was deeply stirred by a tragic incident, which was a blatant daylight robbery that claimed the life of an innocent woman and left her young son bereaved, triggering Sable's childhood trauma of watching her mother die right in front of her own eyes. This event prompted Sable to redirect her efforts to track down the perpetrator, leading her into a confrontation with Jack O'Lantern. Spider-Man once again stood by her side as they sought to capture Jack O'Lantern. However, their mission was disrupted by the Sinister Syndicate, who were a group composed of the Beetle, Rhino, Hydro Man, Boomerang, and the Speed Demon. This troop of villains were hired to eliminate those pursuing Mackendale and even succeeded in their quest until a timely intervention by the Sandman saved the day, allowing Sable and Spider-Man to escape the clutches of the Sinister Syndicate. Though the trio managed to overcome the Syndicate's threat, the hunt for Jack O'Lantern continued, with elusive clues leading them on a challenging journey. Sable International kept appointing reformed antagonists and superheroes to work for them and aid the organization on their missions. But gradually, her wild pack began to fail their missions, and to her utter disappointment, Sable had to take the decision of shutting her mercenary and go into retirement until she received news of traitors lurking within the Sable International. What really thawed at Sable's psyche was when her life took another twist, as her once stalwart wild pack showed signs of betrayal. Teaming up with Dominic Fortune, the duo unraveled a scheme involving sleeper assassins, ultimately halting the nefarious plan orchestrated by the former members of the wild pack. Marvelous Story Arc of Silver Sable Following the Simkarian Revolution, Silver Sable made a significant move and personally acquired the abandoned Simkarian Embassy in New York City, with a visionary plan to restore it to her people when the right moment arrived. In the meantime, this embassy served as her operational hub. During this period, Sable's focus was on capturing international mobsters and delivering them alive to the Interpol for interrogation. However, her efforts were thwarted when she arrived at a crime scene to find her targets murdered, marked with the insignia of the formidable ninja clan called The Hand. Now, The Hand was under the leadership of Daredevil, and their activities spanned Hell's Kitchen. Incensed by the mission's failure, Sable delved into the investigation herself. Her pursuit of the truth brought her into the orbit of Misty Knight, a bionic private investigator, the dark force-wielding vigilante named Shroud, and a skilled mercenary known as Paladin. These individuals were also probing into similar murders across the city. Through her connections in Simkarian intelligence and American espionage, Silver gradually unraveled the mystery. The trail led to the shocking revelation that the murders were actually orchestrated by a corrupt police officer posing as a hand ninja. Misty Knight independently reached the same conclusion when she was targeted by the same rogue officers. Pooling their strengths, the quartet of heroes put a halt to the corrupt police officer's scheme, and together they shifted their focus to the larger predicament centered around Shadowland a significant turning point in their ongoing adventures. In this aftermath, another incident unfolded that called upon Silver Sable's prowess. The Flag Smasher sought to disrupt a Simkarian pride parade in New York by wielding a nuclear bomb. Yet, Silver Sable, along with Spider-Man, managed to thwart his menacing plans. In recognition of Peter's role in deactivating the bomb and safeguarding Simkaria's interests, Silver Sable expressed her gratitude in a kiss. But the adversities for her didn't end there. With Dr. Octopus threatening global destruction, Silver Sable emerged as a key player. She stepped in to save Spider-Man and Black Widow from the clutches of the Sinister Six. As they progressed toward the ultimate confrontation, the romantic tension between Silver Sable and Spider-Man took on a new dimension. Amidst the chaos, Sable flirted with Spider-Man and was on the brink of revealing her feelings for him. However, with Peter Parker taking up the subject of Mary Jane Watson, a brim shadow was cast over the moment. Together with Spider-Man, they raced to confront Dr. Octopus in his underwater stronghold, only to encounter the powerful Rhino. In a tense showdown, 
Rhino immobilized Silver Sable as water levels began to rise. Displaying her resourcefulness, Sable used her suit's stealth capabilities to outwit Rhino, regaining her freedom. Unfortunately, the battle took a toll, leaving her gravely injured. Recognizing the dire situation, Silver Sable urged Spider-Man to leave her behind and continue his pursuit of Dr. Octopus. Employing her suit's stealth functionality, Sable outsmarted Rhino, gaining an upper hand that allowed her to break free from his grip. However, the confrontation exacted a heavy cost, inflicting serious injuries upon her. Amidst the chaos, the underwater base met its destruction, and Sable was left in a dire state, suffering fatal burns. But a twist of fate intervened, as unexpectedly her ex-husband, the foreigner, came to her rescue, offering a lifeline amidst the turmoil. Following these horrid events, a significant transformation reshaped Silver Sable's path. Armed with an android avatar granted by the enigmatic foreigner to save her from the burns, she embarked on a covert mission to eliminate her adversaries one by one. This clever maneuver exploited the prevailing belief that she'd perished, allowing her to operate stealthily from the shadows. Regrettably, the ripples of this deception reached the citizens of Simcaria, who lived under the mistaken assumption of her demise. This misconception paved the way for Countess Katerina Karkov, the last surviving royal of Simcaria, to ascend to power. Karkov's strategic alliance with Norman Osborne further complicated matters. Utilizing and exploiting Simcaria's resources, she transformed the nation into a war machine, fueling Osborne's goblin army and enslaving her own people in the process. Amid this tumultuous backdrop, Silver Sable rallied with a new incarnation of the Wild Pack, operating from the shadows to counter the sinister plots orchestrated by Osborne and Karkov. In an audacious attempt to end Osborne's influence, Sable aimed to assassinate him during a charitable event in Hong Kong. During this mission, her path intersected once more with Spider-Man. In a fortuitous turn of events, Silver Sable and Spider-Man found themselves aligning once more. With their shared enemies in their sights, they united their strengths, forming a powerful alliance aimed at thwarting the schemes of both Osborne and Karkov. After being armed with her android avatar, Silver Sable became stronger than ever, and with her newly reformed Wild Pack, alongside the rekindled alliance with Spider-Man, Sable easily smashed every hurdle that intersected her path, further reinvigorating her character as a true symbol of power and resilience in the Marvel tapestry. What makes Silver Sable so powerful? Silver Sable was always a human, albeit the bizarre transformation of the color of her hair. So, naturally, she possesses no superhuman abilities. Instead, her strength lies in her extensive combat and martial arts training, paired with her innate gymnastic talents. Additionally, she wields an array of weapons and specialized gear, all financed by her own corporation, Silver Sable International. The true testament of her power can be witnessed by her unwavering will, which has always been evident as she resisted psychic manipulation and thwarted telepathic intrusion. A master of hand-to-hand -hand combat, martial arts, marksmanship, and swordsmanship, Silver Sable's prowess is more than exceptional alongside her strategic acumen and leadership skills, which allow Sable to rapidly assess her opponent's vulnerabilities. While Sable's human mortality limits make her susceptible to knives and gunfire, her agility and reflexes enable her to match even her superhuman opponents, even stalemating the formidable Punisher. In addition to this, her linguistic aptitude spans almost seven languages – English, German, French, Italian, Somali, Japanese, and Simkarian. In addition to this, her protective Kevlar-lined costumes shielded her during the most brutal operations, and after her unforeseen incapacitation, Sable utilized a life model decoy avatar to stay hidden until it was the right time to bring her vendetta into action. This woman also wields her signature chai throwing daggers, custom firearms, tasers, and swords, equipping herself according to each mission's needs, alongside maneuvering a jetpack, which facilitates her swift transportation. It should definitely be noted that Silver Sable's influence extends beyond combat. Outfitting the Wild Pack with cutting-edge technology, she boasts considerable financial resources, hiring specialized personnel and offering compensation for contract-related damages. She also undertook diplomatic endeavors, including interactions with Dr. Doom in Latveria, and at one point, Silver Sable also briefly held the Crimson Cowl's cloak. Silver Sable in other forms of media Silver Sable made quite the rounds outside of her comic book lore. Even though this enigmatic mercery hasn't yet graced the big screens, she's made many appearances in animated shows and some super famous games. Let's start with her appearances in the animated TV shows. Spider-Man The Animated Series Silver Sable makes an appearance in the Spider-Man The Animated Series during the five-part episode Six Forgotten Warriors, where she's voiced by Myra Furlan. In this edition, she's enlisted by Reinhold Kregor to join the Wild Pack. 
Their mission involves uncovering crucial information about the Red Skull's formidable doomsday device. Their objectives included capturing scientists to operate the device and prevent it from falling into the clutches of the Kingpin. Throughout the narrative, Sable's involvement takes a twist when she becomes instrumental in kidnapping Spider-Man, Kingpin, and the villainous Insidious Six for Reinhold. However, as events unfold, Sable and the Wild Pack turn the tables, ultimately betraying Reinhold. Joining forces with unexpected allies like Spider-Man, Captain America, the Forgotten Warriors, and even the Insidious Six, they unite to confront Reinhold, the Red Skull, and the Chameleon in an epic showdown. Spider-Man, the new animated series, voiced by Virginia Madsen. This incarnation of Silver Sable is known as Silver Sablinovia, who hails from Russia, unlike her Simkarian origins in the comics. Tasked with a mission, she and her team assume undercover roles within the mayor's office, with Sable adopting the alias Jane Perkins. Their objective is to eliminate the notorious terrorist known as the Piranha, Harlan Tremaine. In an encounter with Spider-Man, Sable is bested, while Tremaine is exposed and apprehended by the NYPD. In the episode Spider-Man Dis-Sabled, Silver Sable's intricate dance with danger continues. Her mercenaries clash with Spider-Man as they attempt to assassinate a visiting politician. The plot unravels to reveal that the politician is a concealed terrorist, plotting the assassination of the American president. In a seemingly tragic twist, Sable appears to perish after plummeting from a bridge into the water. However, the emergence of bubbles hints at her survival beneath the surface. In a surprising turn, Silver Sable resurfaces in the two-part series finale. Here, she aligns herself with Craven the Hunter. Yet, the intricate narrative takes a surreal twist, unveiling the artifice of an illusion conjured by the Gaines twins, novel adversaries introduced in the series. The Spectacular Spider-Man In this animated series, Silver Sable undergoes a significant transformation in her backstory. While her appearance and capabilities retain their familiar essence, her true identity emerges as Sable Manfredi. The daughter of the notorious crime boss Silvermane, also known as Silvio Manfredi, Sable embraces her role in her father's illicit enterprises during his imprisonment. This adaptation also delves into her personal relationships, casting her as the former flame of Hammerhead, a trusted lieutenant of Tombstone. Voiced by Nikki Cox, Sable Manfredi's narrative unfolds as a figure of intrigue when she takes on the challenge of representing her father's interests within the intricate web of criminal endeavors. In the episode titled Accomplices, Sable Manfredi takes center stage as she navigates an underground auction orchestrated by Oscor. The sought-after item is a chip housing technology capable of birthing super-soldiers akin to the invulnerable Rhino. However, her ambitions clash with those of Hammerhead and Roderick Kingsley. Their competing interests culminate in a showdown at the docks with Sable Manfredi aiming to retrieve the chip, pitting her against both Hammerhead and Spider-Man. As the narrative unfolds, Sable Manfredi's journey takes her to a Valentine's Day summit in the episode Gangland. Here, she stands alongside Silvermane in a meeting that also includes Tombstone and Dr. Octopus. However, their aspirations face a tumultuous turn when Hammerhead orchestrates a betrayal, aiming to seize control of the criminal underworld. Through these intricate dynamics, Sable Manfredi's role in this animated series weaves a captivating tale of alliances and betrayals within the world of Spider-Man. Marvel Spider-Man In Marvel's Spider-Man animated series, the enigmatic Silver Sable emerges, portrayed by April Stewart. Alongside her team, the Wild Pack, which includes members like Paladin, Battlestar, and Puma, she enters the fray in the episode Take Two. Their mission involves the audacious theft of the neural cortex from Horizon High. However, their plans unravel in the face of Spider-Man's intervention and a confrontation with Dr. Octopus. Subsequently, they find themselves incarcerated. In a twist that deepens the plot, the episode between an Ock and a Heart Place exposes a surprising revelation, which is that the orchestrator behind the Wild Pack's mission is none other than Otto Octavius himself, leading the complexities of the narrative to continue to unfold. Silver Sable's journey continues in My Own Worst Enemy, where she returns to the screen. This time, she faces off against the superior Spider-Man, having been liberated from her prison confines. The dynamic between heroes and antagonists, punctuated by strategic twists, adds layers of intrigue to the ongoing saga in Marvel's Spider-Man animated series. Moving on to Silver Sable's appearances in many pivotal games. The Ultimate Spider-Man Game In this game's immersive narrative, Silver Sable makes her impactful entrance. Leading her formidable Wild Pack team, she sets her sights on apprehending Venom, but the symbiote eludes their grasp. Amidst a museum setting, she successfully takes Venom into custody, prompting Spider-Man's inquiry into her intentions. Sable's enigmatic reply reveals her steadfast resolve. A strategic gambit emerges as Sable collaborates with Eddie Brock, aiming to draw Spider-Man into their web. In a tense encounter, Spider-Man resists their tactics and escapes once more. 
The narrative takes a compelling turn when Sable unexpectedly targets Peter Parker with a tranquilizing dart, leading to a confrontation that unveils his alter ego as Spider-Man. Their dynamic escalates as Sable's pursuit continues, mocked by thrilling bridge-based events. The tide shifts as they temporarily join forces to avert danger, though tranquilizer-laden encounters persist. A pivotal moment arrives when Venom kidnaps Sable, thrusting Spider-Man into a daring rescue that culminates in a tranquilizer-induced incapacitation. Followed by this, a rooftop rendezvous places Spider-Man and Sable in close proximity. Tension dissipates as Sable discloses that a contract with Trask has lapsed, forging an unlikely alliance in the pursuit of a common goal. Sable's departure, punctuated by her cryptic assertion of business is business, leaves Spider-Man pondering her enigmatic nature. Jennifer Hale lends her voice to the portrayal of Silver Sable in this immersive gaming experience. Spider-Man, friend or foe? As a playable character in the game, Silver Sable comes to life with the familiar voice of Jennifer Hale. A visual representation draws inspiration from her look in Spider-Man, the new animated series. Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions Jennifer Hale seamlessly reprises her role as Sable within this game's immersive world. During the Juggernaut level, she emerges on the scene with the intention of apprehending the eponymous character. As Spider-Man endeavors to secure a fragment from Juggernaut, Sable shifts gears, placing a secondary bounty on Spider-Man himself. The culmination of the level unfolds with a dramatic climax as the Oscorp building collapses, enveloping Spider-Man and Juggernaut within. In the aftermath, Sable concedes recognizing the improbable survival of either amidst the wreckage. Her fitting finale awaits as the ending credits roll. Within this cinematic sequence, Sable makes her mark once more, showcasing her tenacity by capturing Juggernaut, a feat that underscores her relentless pursuit. The Punisher – No Mercy This game was exclusively made for PS3 and accessible for downloading only via the PlayStation Network. In The Punisher – No Mercy, players have the opportunity to take on the role of Silver Sable as a playable character. Marvel Avengers Academy Within this game's immersive landscape, Silver Sable emerges as a playable character, making her debut during the Spider-Man Homecoming event. The pathway to recruiting her unfolds through the quest titled Get Silver Sable. Enriching the gaming experience, her character's voice is brought to life by the talented Morgan Berry. Spider-Man 2018 here, Silver Sable takes on a significant role as a supporting character in the PS4 Spider-Man game developed by Insomniac, with her voice portrayed by Nicole Elise. At the helm of Sable International, a private security force commissioned by New York City's mayor, Norman Osborn, she enters the scene. Initially positioned as an antagonist, she engages in multiple clashes with Spider-Man. However, their dynamic evolves as circumstances unfold. A transformation in her perspective emerges when Spider-Man joins forces with her to rescue Osborn from Mr. Negative's clutches. The influence of Spider-Man's unwavering heroism and noble intentions prompts a shift in her perception. This shift ultimately steers her toward a decision to step away from mercenary pursuits and return to her homeland for introspection. As the narrative unfolds, her presence remains impactful, culminating in her return during the Silver Linings DLC. This multifaceted portrayal within the game showcases her journey from opposition to eventual alignment with Spider-Man's values. Marvelous Verdict In conclusion, as a compelling character from the rich tapestry of the Marvel Universe, Silver Sable has demonstrated remarkable versatility throughout her character run in the comics till this day, alongside her limited but fluid portrayal across various media and adaptations. From her origins as a skilled mercenary and leader of the Wild Pack to her complex alliances with Spider-Man and other heroes, Silver Sable's journey is a literal testament of strength, conviction, and evolving allegiances. Throughout her appearances in comic books, animated series, video games, and more, Silver Sable's indomitable will, combat prowess, and leadership abilities have consistently shone. Her ability to navigate morally complex situations while prioritizing the welfare of her homeland, Simcaria, adds depth to her character. Furthermore, in the Marvel's Spider-Man game by Insomniac, we witness a nuanced portrayal of her transformation from an adversary to an ally of Spider-Man, showcasing her growth and development as a character. This evolution underscores the complexity of her persona and her willingness to reassess her convictions, which is exactly why the game is still so famous and relevant to this day. Overall, Silver Sable's legacy is one of tenacity, resilience, and the capacity for change. Her presence across different mediums underscores her enduring appeal and ability to adapt to various storytelling contexts while retaining the core qualities that make her a memorable figure in the Marvel Universe. Now that we've covered every nook and corner of Silver Sable's origin history, leading us to the very end of this video, we'd love to know your thoughts on this badass mercenary. Please let us know about your thoughts and opinions in the comments below.